it's a, a huge snowfall and it's on top of the big snowstorm that we had a couple of days ago. Of course, the roads had cleared by this time, but the snow hadn't melted yet. And so we're getting another several inches, it looks like, or more. And so it's, I'm sure that the folks that are clearing the roads are having trouble, certain amount of trouble keeping up at this point. It's going to be difficult traveling, and so it's better to cancel the event, not even so much because of the, the candidate not being able to get there, but because you really don't want to put a lot of people uh, in has a way of hazards of driving and slippery and snowy conditions. So basically, it affects the campaigns because we're, you know, of course, here in Iowa, we're in that closing sprint to the finish kind of a thing. The candidates are in the state going around to as many events as they can, talking to as many voters as they can who still may be undecided or persuadable at this point and making their closing arguments. And this sort of throws a monkey wrench into that. Well, we got to take into account some brutal weather coming our way. Uh, that could affect turnout, but that wouldn't affect the turnout of the, the results from the people who actually do show up. So on the 15th, on Monday, it's going to be so cold. <laughs> like, I don't even know what negative 15 is. <laughs> The bigger concern is what happens on Monday itself, because of course with the caucuses, the whole point of it is that you show up at 7 p.m. on Monday night. And if the weather is really, really bad, it probably means it's going to affect turnout. Now it's a little hard to say which campaign might be affected more than another and who actually might decide to not turn out. There are a number of variables there. cold snaps like this it'll last a few days and then it'll warm up it happens every winter uh, i believe it's supposed to get down in the mid negative 20s but with the wind chill that could be anywhere from 40 to 60 below it's gonna get pretty chilly tonight um we got couple hidey holes they can get into and bed down and hunker down together and stay warm. I do pretty good. Um, we just plan ahead, keep everything plugged in, and it, it's just Montana. little bear here he doesn't have a yard or anything and so we go on three square walks a day rain or shine snow or hurricane and here we are he loves the snow so I'm outside for my dog though in fact I'm listening to the text call right now okay I'm gonna hop on the text call myself if anyone
it's it's okay i guess for me it comes with the territory and this is kind of what it means to live in iowa in the middle of winter but two snowstorms back to back feels like a little much usually i'm used to just one a week so this this feels like extra but In the Iowa winters, you know, you're used to stuff like this. Maybe not quite this bad, but the snow usually comes a lump sum when it does come. We went to the store yesterday and everyone's like stocking up on everything like it's gonna be COVID again. I really don't think it's that bad. You know, the drive-in, you know, as long as you've been in it and did it a couple years, it's it's really not too foreign to most of us. There's some slide and some slick roads, but the city of Des Moines does a pretty good job of keeping the roads clean for us so we can go to the store and get our essentials that we need.